Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here to do the second video on this special holiday season double header. This is also a Patreon request from this patron right here. Ask us to check out a band called Havu Krunu and the name of the song is Kunes Variot Das Misa On Vesa. I wonder if that sentence makes any sense. It doesn't. I'm, do I'm mean? gonna tell you now, it doesn't. No? I, I don't even have to know what it actually means to tell you that it doesn't. It could mean like, the gods have left us, where's the toilet? <laughs> I mean, that would, where's the toilet makes sense with any sentence. It doesn't, not You any. owe me money, where's the toilet? Oh. You know what I mean? I'm hungry, where's the toilet? Wow, that, that's kind of disturbing <laughs> now that I think about it. Uh, you look really hot, where's the toilet? Oh. Okay, maybe it doesn't work with every sentence, but I think, Let's wait for our Finnish viewers to let us know exactly what I just said. Yeah. And then let's be the judge of it afterwards. Something interesting for the holidays. Let's see. Let's see what I just said there. All right. You ready for this? By the way, these guys are a pagan black metal band yeah. from Finland. You, you told me that and I actually are really, really excited because... I, I love the, the picture. I love, one, I love the picture. It's badass. And two, that's a... That's, that's a nice mixture? Uh, yeah. Pa pagan black metal. Oh, the best mixture. All right, you're all, you're all, uh... I'm all hyped, yeah. All right, you're all excited. You ready for this, then? Yeah. All right, let's do it.
right, so since you were all excited oh. to check this out, you're going to go first and tell, and tell us I love your this, thoughts. I love this sound, man. I love it. I mean, it, it, I love, pi not like, folkish, you know, pagan music. I like it. Because it, it always brings a smile to my face, and it always just kind of... But this is not the apple-picking kind, definitely. I mean, no, the if, black metal takes all the apples away. If the apples were all poisoned, maybe. Or rotten. Or rotten, yeah. Yeah, rotten apples. Um, and then, I, I just love that sound. And so when you add black metal to it, and you just kind of speed it up a little bit more, and make everything kind of have a sinister feel to it, because usually it's a happy feel, but then you give it a little bit of a sinister, like, mist. It, I don't know, it just... I love it. It's it's something. It's just merging two worlds that I really like: black metal and pagan upbeat music. Uh, what did you think about the the choir at the oh at the beginning? Uh, that caught me off that guard. Caught me, that caught me off guard. I thought that would be stuff because like I thought that. it was going to be like this voice from hell, which is kind of like what we got after. We got after, but I thought but the, that was kind of like wow. Like, I kind of I kind of thought we, there were. And like, then I thought it was going to go the whole track like that. I'm like, is this going to be the whole track like like this? Because this, if the whole track goes like this, it's going to be very different. So I was kind of happy that it didn't go the whole track yeah. like that. But that caught me off guard. I was not expecting that. I knew there was going to be some of that in this. Because, I mean, it, I don't no, know. But not right off the gate. Not, not off the gate. That kind of caught me off guard that it was so soon. But after, after you know, it being there, I was like, yeah, I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't know it was going to be right away. I, I love the guitar sound. Oh, yeah. With a... <laughs> and then sometimes the guitar had like a um, this black metal uh, kind of raw feel rawness, sound like yeah. there's there, there's definitely that black metal grittiness to the way the sound comes across. It's not guitar, polished, yeah. you know what I mean? It's not polished. It's very raw, very gritty, very grimy. And and to me, when I think of black metal, I always think of that style of guitar sound. So it, it and it had it in bunches. It just had a little bit more melody on 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 top of it. Almost like a folky melody, especially when it would go. Nah, 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 nah. Like I, I love that, but it never really lost the darkness at the same time. It kind of merge the, the way the guitar sounded, kind of merged those two worlds, the pagan and and the black metal world together, if you yeah. will. And and that sound approach, I really like that. And it didn't change that much musically. The song stays very consistent from beginning to the end. Even the even if you look at the drums, I like the sound of the drums. They have this almost hollow sound when you hear them. They're they're, they're not rich in life. They're almost uh, devoided of life yeah, they altogether. Feel they feel empty, which is something that I that it works really well for with this the, with style. The whole of yeah, the, of the with the track. Whole, exactly. It has almost a demo feel to how it sounds, but that's how you want it. When you look at music, you have to approach it from what you're listening to. Like you can't look at this track and, and judge it the it, same way you would judge a Nightwish song. Yeah, because, because they're two different things. It's like, two different genres. It's two different. If Nightwish released a song that sounded like this, it would be shit. Because, because that's not what that's not what they are. That's not their sound. This is the this is the sound that they are. This, exactly. So like you have you have to judge the track not on how it's put together, not on the production that it has, but how does that production match what the band is trying to do with with their sound? Like what's their fingerprint? Like what's their DNA? So for me, this is perfect. That that demo feel, that raw yeah. sound to how the guitar sound. Like I said, the, the drums feel like they're completely hollow. hollow. And I love that sound because it gives darkness to the track. It almost creates a sense of echo. Yeah. You know, you know, to the whole song has a sense of echo. It feels empty. It just feels like it keeps going. It, it feels like they're playing drums in a room that's not really uh, proper for sound. Yeah, there's, like no, it, there's no sound foam. Exactly. Nothing is absorbing the sound. The it's sound is just, it's just e echoing. Yeah. It, exactly. But... But that no, that's sound, what you want. It's, it's perfect for this. It's absolutely perfect. I love it. I felt that the song changed, the, the, the dynamics of the song changed and, uh, throughout the track, but the changes were coming from the vocals. The vocals were kind of giving you like the ups and downs of the song because musically I felt like the song was very even keel throughout. It's not like there's a part of the track that suddenly just like goes gangbusters and starts to go like sure, really fast yeah. or a part of the song where it becomes a little bit more atmospheric and it's more like... Uh, slow pace, you know. No, musically, I felt the song was very even, but vocally, with the choirs changing of the like all of the, that's what kind of changes your perspective of the song. Yeah. So like the the bass line is steady, but then the vocals are going up and down and kind of giving you a feel like you're moving along with the track. So I like it that way. It's consistent, but at the same time, the song doesn't become boring. It's repetitive. It gives you enough. Yeah. If you look. Perhaps it, it there's a lot of repetition throughout the track, but you don't get a sense of repetition because the vocals are are, are, are kind of things. giving you new things and new approaches, yeah. and you're moving along and you're not really thinking about it. 
uh, if if the vocals are like if there was no choirs, if the vocals take like one solemn approach from beginning to the like the song would be like completely redundant. You, you just feel like you're listening to a one minute track on loop. But that's not the case because I felt the vocals gave made the song move. You know what I mean? And I like that sound. Like I could listen to this just instrumental. Yeah. I love that sound, that, that the raw rawness. sound. You know, you know? Pro it probably sounds better on the vinyl. Oh, this on vinyl? Oh shit, this on vinyl. With all the little pops and yeah. stuff from the vinyl. Th this this kind of sound needs to be heard like that like that. Either that or the cassette. You know how we have a like a Yeah, but the cassette you don't I think the vinyl gives you even more like of a dark of a darkness to it. Yeah. Dark. Even with the way you put the vinyl on and you hear that that first scratch like like you know, like kinda of kicking in. Even that I don't know. There's something about that that just has this this evil allure, this darkness yeah. to it. This on, on vinyl must be like an absolute pleasure to listen to, I must say. All right. We discovered another band from Finland. Yeah. There you go. By the way, on the top 20 albums that I did, the video where I said my top 20, a lot of people mentioned this band because they released an album this year. So I'm assuming this is from the album that was released this year. A lot of people mentioned that this was one of their favorite albums of 2020. This band released one of their favorite albums of 2020. It went completely under my radar. I, I, I never heard of the band. I, I can't blame you. Because... I, I mean, like, I get a lot of... I don't think I got their album for review. But what I'm saying is, like, I, I discovered them through the Patreon request. So somebody requested, obviously, this on Patreon. But then when I posted the video with the top 20, a lot of people were mentioning this being one of their favorite albums. So that was like, wow, now we really got to check that Patreon request because now I, now I got to see what people are talking yeah. about, you know? So I'm glad we did. All right. On that note, guys, this is it for today for this special holiday doubleheader. Come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See ya.